everyone, welcome back to Rachel Bella Crafts. I hope you're all well. Um, just a couple of things to um, share with you all today, really. Um, it's not a tutorial as such, um, but I have had lots of things come this week and I've had lots of um, journal swaps being completed. And I just wanted to show you guys some of the lovely stuff that I've had and also uh, one of the journals that I made. Um, before I go on any further though, I just want to say a huge thank you um, to Mandy who um, sent me this fantastic uh, stamp platform um, from via our Amazon wishlist. I um, just want to say a huge thank you to her, very grateful and just to let her know as well that I actually went to a car boot sale this morning and managed to get myself a whole little load of stamps and they were 20 pence each check that out and I think most of these are still brand new in fact they are they're all brand new um so I should be having a play with that later on today so thank you very much for that Mandy really really appreciate that um uh, before I carry on just so that you know I haven't hurt my wrist my hand is fine I have a bandage on because I've got quite a nasty burn on my um on my wrist and the back of my hand from the sun um from when I was driving my car the other day we've been in a heat wave here in Wales um a heat wave some of you may say what's a heat wave heat wave is the normal warm temperature that most of you probably get that we don't get here in wales um it's normally wet and windy and rainy but we have actually had a week and a half of most glorious hot weather um that we're clearly not used to and uh i yes was driving in my car for an hour and i have burnt my arm um just I, it's a medication i take uh, and it just stops my skin reflecting the uv so that's what that's about because I didn't want you all having to look at it. So there we go. So the first thing I wanted to show you all today is my second. So don't get confused. This is not the giveaway journal. Giveaway journals up on the shelf. Still waiting for you guys to uh, finish sending in your giveaway entries. If you haven't seen that, go and check out the video. Don't miss out. There is a journal being given away at the end of this month. You've got, oh, what's the date today now? My goodness, I don't even know. 25th. Right, so you've got five maybe six days left to get your entries in online there is a video in our um, playlists go and have a look at the it's all about alice playlist and there's a final video there called the giveaway and the instructions for the giveaway are in that video um but yes don't miss out on the opportunity to do that but this alice journal here is going to a very special lady called francis um, now, Francis was my swap partner in one of the Facebook groups and um, one of the Facebook groups, not our group, um, another group, I think it was Junk Journal in the UK, they arranged a um, Alice in Wonderland journal swap for uh, the month of July. And as I was obviously doing It's All About Alice, I thought, hey, why not? I'll enter that and I'll, I'll do a journal swap with somebody because I knew I was going to have lots of... Um, things left over so it just makes sense doesn't it make another journal with it and then uh it's not just being stuffed in the corner so i just thought you might like to have a little look at this one because it's quite different to the other one that i've done um and just a bit of a different take on it really so the cover was actually made by bella mum made the cover um and she used i hope i get this right now i say this is canvas what, what she's used here and she has dyed it with uh blue watercolor paints i'm probably getting this all wrong and she'll change it and write it in the comments below but if i am wrong mum just put it in the comments below <laughs> um but i do believe it is actually uh it is canvas so you know artist canvas and she's she's dyed it and then she's covered the back then with some beautiful um aged lace and then the front um we've got you know it's stitch finished and we've got some layer in here and then I've just added um, this lovely um, Stampira uh, plate. You know, it's a journaling card, I think, out of the Stampira Alice in Wonderland book. Um, and there's this beautiful little um, paper flower here, which I think just finishes it off quite nicely. So that's the cover. So inside of the journal, you'll see a lovely pocket in the front, um, which again was, is where the canvas was obviously long. And when mum made the cover, she's folded it up to make... Um, a lovely pocket there so Francis will be able to store things in there. Um, the first page I've done just a bit of a, a collage spread um, and I tuck these two little these two little tags in here um, but I just thought it was nice just to make it clear it's an Alice in Wonderland journal just in case <laughs> Francis forgot that from the front cover um, and then here on the next page then we've got a little scrap tuck and I've made just I've taken one of the pages that I had left over and I've made a little um, notebook with some copy dye paper. 
So that's tucked in there. And then here we have a bookmark from the uh, Stampira um, kit. And then one of the pockets from the Line Dot Arrow kit. And then I've used one of uh, Bella's hearts behind. And I've just added one of our um, Alice in Wonderland sentiment cards there with a bow. Um, again, it's some more of what I had from the Stampira kit and a journaling card from the Line Dot Arrow kit. Now what you'll notice is that my backing pages are normal journal backing pages. So here we've got a botanical book page. Um, this one here is a copy dye lace page. So I wanted you to be able to see that you don't have to have an Alice kit to make an Alice in Wonderland journal. Um, this has been made from just a, a, a compilation of some lovely papers that we've got. And um, I've, I've made them into Alice, if that makes sense. So here's another one here, and I've um, taken one of my pockets. I've added some Alice elements to it. There's a little um, soft puff there with a button on, and then another journal card there. Um, and here I've taken some of the, oh, no, I can't remember what this stuff is called. Mum did use the word the other day. Um, you know when I'm pulling off my threads and I stick them in the jar? Well, I grabbed some the other day and I've just stuffed it behind there, look, and stitched the button onto some fabric. But I just think it adds a little bit of texture and it looks really good. And it wasn't my idea. Mum mentioned it the other day. She was saying that uh, Rachel from Roxy Creations had done something using, I can't think what this stuff is called, but basically the fibres from the um, the, the fabrics and, and what's left over when you're cutting off your thread. So I thought, oh, I'm going to try that and I've put that on there. So if you want to go and have a look at um, Rachel's from Roxy Creations latest video, it was definitely something that was put on this week. Um, here I've used one of our um, fabric trims and I've put the, the this fabric on because I like the little red heart it reminded me of the um, Queen of Hearts and I've added there then a little charm with some playing cards which of course have got hearts on them. Um, this here is a little flip, a little Heidi journaling spot there and that's um, one of the um, images out of the very very old Alice in Wonderland book that I had and I have printed that on to um, some linen. And then on this page here, I've simply charged up this envelope with some lovely playing cards. And you can journal inside of that if you so wish to do so. But I just thought that was quite nice tucked over there. And then here we've got one of Bella's fabric hearts that she made. And I've just added a few more little bits and pieces from um, Alice in Wonderland. And then here, so I love this bit of vellum here and I thought it really made it feel like, you know, Alice in Wonderland when she'd gone in and like everything was the wrong size and it was all strange and I mean look at the size of these lovely bees. So I've popped in there one of our um, altered playing cards and um, another little Alice tag and then in here are just some more of our Alice in Wonderland little sentiment same cards. Um, this is a very groovy paper bag and I just thought yep I like that that's very Alicey and I put this really scary goblin -y guy on this Alice in Wonderland journal card from the Line Dot Arrow kit and I've added a button then to one of Bella's um what did we call those mum circle ephemera I'm not quite sure <laughs> I can't think sorry <laughs> um another cluster there and um some more bits and pieces from uh the Alice in Wonderland um kits and here I've just simply added the stamped A and I've popped some little elements under there. I like that book page there because there's a, a young girl there with books and I just thought oh, that's very Alice-y. Um, one of our painted pages that you will have seen if you've watched uh, the last series. I've just stuck there a little cluster with a uh, pocket watch on and then there's a button and a bow up in that corner there but there's lots of journal in space here for Francis to use the journal to write in. Um, another nice writing page there. It's a little fabric cluster there and a button and here is a pocket made from uh, some vintage quilt um, some stitched and embroidered uh, that's actually card from a stampier kit and then uh, a floral image on there and then tucked in behind is the Mad Hatter I'll leave him there just like that and I've just put a little pretty shiny butterfly on there for her and there's a little tuck pocket in there as well in one of the teacups and a lovely butterfly because we're in the garden a bit and then in here is a little circular pocket well it's made from a circle the pocket's not circular um, and there's just a little uh, jar there and again another playing card 
with um, some of the Lined Up Arrow kit on the back. And I've just added that lovely little lace uh, heart up there. Um, another little flip there and another image out of the Vintage Alice book. And I put a couple of hearts here. Now, one, this heart here was actually sent to me by Diane Wilkinson, I think her last name is. Um, and it was part of the heart swaps that we did um, in the group this month. Um, the May, the other, uh, the giveaway Alice journal has also got um, one of the hearts that was sent to Bella from Brenda. So thank you girls for your swaps this month. We have added one of each to um, one of each of the Alice journals as well. So they're going to continue their journey traveling. And I think they look rather lovely in there. This is one of Bella's um, key die cuts that she did. She showed you some photographs, I believe, in the junk journal group um, last week. And uh, she'd done that using one of the, uh, watching one of the tutorials from uh, 49 Dragonflies. Um, and then here I've taken a pocket and I've added a tuck spot here. And then there's a little writing spot there. And then um, that's just a little um, cluster of scraps there with the King of Hearts. Um, again, another little scrappy cluster there. And I've just put a little um, die cut butterfly on there. And there's a journaling card here, also from the Stampira set. And then here we've got those beautiful teacups and teapot that Bella made in one of the demos um, for the It's All About Alice. And I've simply just staggered them into the journal. And I've added, oh, there's always one bit, there's a bit of glue randomly gets onto something. Oh my goodness, there it is, right. Just trim that bit down. There's a journaling card. Oh, that's because there was two in there. That was silly of me. Here we go. See, we all make mistakes. <laughs> me more than some. So, there we are. If you take them out, look, it's like a little cascade then of teacups. So I thought that was quite cute. And then I had a little blue heart on there to go with the little blue flowers over here. Birds over there rather than not flowers. Here is, um, these are some lovely little envelopes that Bella made this week. So she's given me two to go into this journal for Francis, and I've added some of the Alice in Wonderland uh, ephemera then to the front, but they are usable envelopes. And I thought that looked quite nice, just tucked over there like that. So there we go. And then this side then, we've got our, um, our cat, Cheshire cat. He's not very really Cheshire-y on that picture, there is he? But that's out of the Stampira um, cardstock pack as well. And then another scrappy cluster. I love these, they're so cute. Um, and then here we have another pocket and I've got lots of um, lots of bits of ephemera in there and a tag and that's sort of the lined up arrow kit. And then there's a little Suffolk puff on me. And like old vintagey kind of page here. A little bow and a button on top of the A. And then here I've just staggered some hearts again to make some little pockets and I've added some more of Bella's lovely blue uh, watercolour die cuts and of course you can put little notes on the back then. Just thought that was a little bit different. And here I've used, I've had these frames bouncing about, I don't know how long, probably since I started journaling. And I was looking at this image the other day and I thought, oh, do you know what, that would look awesome in there. So a little picture here of Alice and uh, the rabbit and I just added the frame over the top. And then here is a bit of a scrappy belly band and we've got another journaling card then of the white rabbit busy in this book and of course we've got the little rabbit on there as well um and then here we've got some more um playing cards underneath um one of these large um circle clusters so they're great if you just want to have a little journal spot on there i won't get them all out and then here we've got another pocket and i've just added some little journal cards in there and um some of some more of the ephemera and a little cluster from the Line Dot Arrow kit. This page here is also one of um, the Line Dot Arrow papers as well from one of the other kits. There's a die cut um, butterfly there and another one of these beautiful fabric po um, heart pockets made by Bella and a lovely image of Alice in there. And then here I've included um, a page out of uh, one of my Vintage Alice books uh, at the Mad Hatter's Tea Party. So I thought that would be quite nice in there. And then we've got a little bit of a, a vintage-y looking 
uh, cluster there. And then in here then, this is the center now of the second signature. Um, this has been done with some little pockets in. So in this one here, we've got a lovely altered playing card. So I'm just gonna leave that upright in there so that Frances can see that. There's lots of room in here for her to add her own things. Um, like I say, it's for her to write in if she wishes. A little white rabbit charm there. And another fabric, um, I can't remember what they're called. <laughs> Can you call it cluster? It's not a cluster. I can't think what we call them. Oh dear, you haven't had my breakfast yet. Um, it's a tiny little mini, mini cute envelope there with um, some little labels and some ephemera in. And then there's another page there from the Stampera kit with some bits of the Alice story. And I just added a scrappy cluster to the front of that one there. Again, some more writing space. Um, got another one of those lovely envelopes then that Bella's made and I've just added a little bit of... Okay, so on this page then we've got some die cuts and one of the mini uh, pockets from Line Dot Arrow and I've just put some um, little tags and bits of ephemera in there. And then on this page here we've got another large pocket with an A and some more Alice um, journaling cards and tags and things. Again, lots more writing space, lots of journaling space. So uh, Frances has got lots of room in here then to kind of make this her own. Um, and then a final pocket here then with um, some coffee paper to write on and another picture of the Mad Hatter. And then again, that's just a little uh, sentiment there out of the Sampira. So I've tried to keep this really... Um, I don't even know what the word is I'm looking for. But I didn't want to make everything in here too permanent. That's the way I'm trying to say it. So that um, as it is going to another journaler and Frances may have her own ideas about what she wants to do with it. Um, I do hope she likes it. It's always a bit nerve wracking when you're doing a swap. Um, so yeah, I just hope that she's really pleased with that. But that is my Alice in Wonderland journal for my junk journal swap with junk journal in uk so i hope you like it um if you want to know anything about anything that was in there or and how i've made it or any questions please don't be afraid to put them in the comments below um but that's it for today i will have a few more short videos on this afternoon um with some different uh, journals to show you as well but i didn't want to put it all in the same video because you guys are short on time and you may not want to watch them all in one go so have a great afternoon whatever you're doing keep safe and we'll be back with you very soon bye now